Hello everyone, so in this tutorial we are going to control the animation of our game object using a slider value. So uh, let us start. So right now I have created a simple scene inside Unity. Okay, so I'm having a BG here. So I'm going to drag and drop my little robot here. So let me adjust the position of my robot okay so now we are not having any animation for our robot so let me add some animation for this robot so go to the animation tab here so let us create some animation just create here okay so let us uh, quickly do some animation for this robot So now we are going to add a slider to control this uh, robot animation. So let us create a slider. So right click here and UI canvas. So inside this canvas we are going to add our slider. Mm, slider. Alright. So this is our slider here. Just press F and C. All right, so we can change the color of this uh, little knob here. So we can change the fill color as well. So before doing that, um, we will adjust the position of this knob here. So if you come here, in the inspector, you can see the value. Now it is zero. So just so just move like this so now come to the fill here so change the color of that fill perfect now you can see the preview here in the game view all right so let us create a script for our slider okay so come to the project tab so come to the scripts folder let us create a new script So just double click so this is our script first of all we need our slider here slider sorry S slider and slider so we have to use the namespace unity engine dot ui so let us add that So we also want our game object robot here. So that's why we have defined the slider and game object here. So in the start function, we are going to call our, we are going to get the component of the slider. Okay. So slider is equal to. Okay. So if we don't want this update function, we can delete it. So now uh, we're going to create a custom method uh, that will be called whenever we change the slider value. Public void. Robot position controller. Okay, this is too big, but that's okay. Inside this, we're going to get the animator component, which is assigned to our robot. So now this is fine. So before going to the next step, let us go to our animation first. Save the script. So select our robot and come to the animator section. Okay. So if you see this inspector uh, parameters, okay, we are going to use the motion time parameter. So check this parameter. Okay. So before checking that, let me add a float value. Okay, just click here, float. So this is our float parameter. 
then select this robot animation and check this motion time parameter okay so now save this now we are going to set the position value uh, from the slider so this is perfect now we are going to attach this uh, script to our slider so come to our slider here so come to our project so here we are having the slider controller script so drag and drop the script to our slider so now we have to assign our robot here so let us drag that also then one more thing uh, what should we do is select the slider here we are having on value changed so this is a default uh, method so we're going to use this so click this plus here okay we're going to add our slider here so that slider and now we will use the custom function that we have created so if we see slider controller and we're going to use this robot position controller method so this will do the job so let us uh, play our game So this is fine. Uh, yes, this is working good. So I hope you like this tutorial. So thank you for watching. We'll see you soon in the next one. Thank you.